Varsity Club, welcome back to another classic video. Today we're doing the Madden 21 franchise featuring the Dublin Shamrocks, a team that has had some turnover, and it's time to see how they can actually do. And as always, if you love this series and you want to see more, do me a favor, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, because all those things help me and make me want to do more of this content for you guys more often. But as you guys know, we had a major offseason. We got rid of Cole Cook. We brought in Rashawn Dorsett. We've got a lot of guys on different sides of the ball that could be impact players or could just be giant holes out there. Only one way to find out. Jump into the game. Now, we are facing a tough Giants team that we've struggled against a little bit throughout our tenure here, but we're at home. We got a lot of players on our team to the Giants, and we have never seen in the field before. See how they do with a lot of pressure on this franchise put on their shoulders. What makes me really excited about our offense is that we've got a quarterback with about 92 speed, so I can't wait to see what he can actually do out in the open field. The read option game is going to be a blast with that dude. And we gotta contain Barkley first though. Gotta admit, thought we were gonna see a pass play. A little bit down the field, not one went out to the flats and then burned us pretty quickly. A little dump off out here to Evan Ingram. We get him pretty quickly. I think on defense, the guy I want to see the most is John Meekins, our new strong safety. I mean, that dude was arguably our best player that we drafted this offseason. I want to see what he does. Who the heck was that that just ran right by Barkley? Didn't even want to tackle him. What the heck? Okay, so far, this is uh, not been green. To be honest, we are getting kind of beat down at the moment. Barkley's running all over us. He's going to cut back in the middle of the field. We get him Montez Sweat with the bring down, but... He's killing us at the moment. I mean, Barkley has about 18 yards per carry right now, which, do the math, that's not good. Jones, only guy in the backfield. Good pressure off the edge. We get a sack, and thank you, Jamison Biddle, our new outside linebacker, first sack of his career. Okay, that's good news. I mean, Biddle, we hadn't even talked about yet today, and the young fella comes through with a big sack early on. If he could be that edge rusher for us, considering the fact that a lot of our main guys haven't been able to, I'm here for it. That's a heck of a hit by Walls, but Ingram held on to that? Are you kidding me? I mean, no matter who we've had guarding Evan Ingram in our time against the Giants, that dude has killed us every single season. Now, speaking of killing, Thad Lindley with a nice run. But our new and improved offensive line has a penalty coming, and that's not great. Looks like it's going to be holding on the offense. That one's coming back. Thanks a lot, Connor Williams. One of the plays I'm most excited for, though, is running the read option with this combo of Dorsett and Lindley. I mean, it's two guys that are both electric that should have a heck of a season together. And my goal, honestly, is just not putting too much pressure on Dorsett this year. That's easier said than done. I'll probably fail at that, but I want him to have an opportunity to win games, but not feel like it's really on his shoulders. Just do enough out there. So our first potential pass play, the young rookie, is going to be right here on third down to six. Got a couple of slam routes coming in to make it easy for him. He's got a quick decision across the middle. Michael Gallup is going to be playing a lot in the slot this season. It's an eight-yard grab for a first. Or set back out here in shotgun again. First game at home here in Gidden, Ireland. I like what he's got. Dorsett's making some moves. Dorsett goes up the middle, ladies and gentlemen. He got 16 yards from the QB. Look, I know Cole Cook was technically a mobile quarterback, but the dude just had slow feet. He could not do what we needed him to do. And this kid, Dorsett, is looking like... He's got that and a whole lot more because now look at the defense. They're queuing in on the quarterback and Lindley's running for crazy yards. And really, Lindley is a guy that should be the lifeblood of our team. The engine for our team should be him. And if we can just get him going, I like how things are going to go for us this season. Playoffs or bust. That's what I'm thinking. The offense is looking great so far. We got second down and six yards to go. Yeah. We're set. Throwing out of the sack. I don't blame him. That was a little bit of pressure. We'll take it. So big play by the Giants on defense there. At least at a third down and six yards to go. Again, we're in scoring territory. We just need to get a first down here. Keep the chains moving. Get our guys in open space. And yo, Naheem Hines, what a juke move. I'll take it. Hines is also an underrated signing for us. Like, I don't know how much we're going to see him play. A little bit of the passing game for sure. But I just need that guy to be a good player at spelling out Lindley here and there. And oh, we read that incorrectly. If we ran to the left, he might be in the end zone now. Second down and nine. We're set. Feels the pressure again. A little bit later than decision. We got third and nine. We had a halfback screen earlier with Hines, and it worked out really well. Here, we don't want to risk anything too much. We need to make sure we get points on the board. Going right back to one here. Lily's going to catch that one. They're going to try to break that one out of him. He does pick up a yard, but he just needed one block, and he couldn't get it. We're going to line up for a field goal here. Should be again, a pretty easy one. Mm, accuracy looking a little suspect. What a way to start the season. Off the goalpost. We definitely rushed that one. That field goal was not going to be good. We just got to take our time a little bit more on the kicks and we'll be okay. Jones back here to pass. Goes across the middle. Great deflection there by Walls. Second and 10 now. Going to watch for the pass play. 
tight end. Biddle's going to end up getting the running back on that play, however. Team needs a big stop right now. We got a big third down at five. It's got to make sure you play your lanes and lock down here. Jones the company obviously passing. Watch the tight end. We got a hit. It looks like Chase Young coming in for the big hit. It is going to be an incomplete pass, but I love the effort from Young this season. I mean, look, you guys saw it all last year. Young just didn't get enough pressure on the quarterback, and we need him with that defensive front to be able to do that. Biddle coming off the edge now. Meek is coming in for some safety blitzes here and there. There's a lot of potential. And speaking of potential, look at Trey Sanders. Solid return for him. I mean, that's not a great one, but for him, that's elite. Our first drive was pretty solid. A couple of missed opportunities here and there. A couple of, you know, issues with our quarterback not getting the ball out quickly. But overall, I'm happy with it. And look at that Lindley. That's what I want to see. Big lanes for him to run. I mean, honestly, it's amazing to see what an offensive line will do for a young quarterback. Sorry, Cole Cook. We didn't have one for you. Put Arnold here in a little curl route. We're set in the backfield. The pressure is on him so quickly. He's got to get rid of that one a little bit quicker. So Shaq also comes in and gets the sack on that play again. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is at this point. Second and 19. Barnett looks to be open. A good pass there. What an absolute dot to Barnett, his first grab of the day. Yeah, Barnett's one of those guys we have big, big expectations for. He had a solid rookie campaign, a couple of catches here and there, but this year is really on him. orsett has got a guy. He's going to throw Deontay Arnold wow. open, and we see ourselves inside the red zone now. I can't express how good it feels to have the pocket collapsing, your quarterback sitting there in the zone, and he throws a guy perfectly open. It's been a long time since we've had that opportunity. Maybe if ever here. Two yards there by Lindley. Again, not a great run, but the read option is definitely putting a lot of pressure on the Giants. Orsett's going to take this one all the way up the middle, and the rookie gets his first career touchdown. A run up the gut. We'll take that one. Go ahead and celebrate, young fellow. You deserved it. The Giants find themselves in the red zone already. This has been a really quick drive for them, and they're trying to put more points on the board after we already tied it up. Jones and company getting the ball running to Barkley. Barkley's going to get taken down after three yards. Barkley, again, has had a really good game so far. He's averaging 10 yards per carry, but he's only carried it four times today, so they aren't using him an insane amount. Say that, and they go right back to him here. We get him in the backfield pretty quickly for a loss. Big third down coming up. Need this team to lock in. Get a stop. Barkley to the left-hand side of Jones this time. They go for the check down play. That's not going to be very good. And that's going to take them to the two-minute warning with a field goal opportunity coming up. Two-minute warnings here. The Giants lining up for a field goal from the left hash this time. Even Norwood and company get a little bit of pressure on them. They end up faking it. They go for the fake in their own. I mean, on R16, what are they thinking? We'll take that. I mean, look, I'm not saying our defense is elite, but they are smart. They are young and they are hungry. And they made a heck of a stop there. Dorsett out here, moving in motion. Dorsett out here, finding some room. Dorsett is going to find himself down to the 35. It's a heck of a way to start this drive. Our goals of a points on the board this drive. Even if we get a field goal, that's still pretty solid. And the ball off with Thad Lindley on the screen. Thad Lindley, though, however, can't really go anywhere and picks up nothing. Second down and 10, Dorsett. And sitting in shotgun. Dorsett feeling a lot of pressure. The rookie gets hit hard, and they drive him down to the turf. So that brings us to a really, really big third and 20. If we can get a conversion, great. If we can't, well... It is what it is. Dorsett throws one and he throws it right to the defender. It's like Cole Cook all over again. So that's, uh, you know, not exactly ideal, but he's a rookie. We got to deal with rookie growing pains. Like a halfback screen coming up, but not before we get a sack. What a play by Jonathan Allen. Allen, his first sack of the day. Got to love that one. Second to 16 now for the Giants. They're way out of field goal territory with a minute left and one timeout. They go to the flash, but again, we're ready for that one, and they're keeping the clock running. Giants move to the hurry-up office. We're going to see here and drive back a little bit on third and 15. They go with an absolute dot of a throw down to the 30. It's one of those plays you hate to see him convert because you had your guys right there. You just couldn't get a hand on the ball. Nice throw by Jones. Feels the pressure. He throws one into the dirt. I would imagine the Giants are going to take one last shot to the end zone here, hoping they can get some points on the board outside of a field goal, which is ultimately what we were trying to at least get on the board. They go to the flats. They're going to go out of bounds this time with a 25. Pretty conservative play calling right now for the Giants. They aren't trying to go anything down the field in the end zone. Honestly, I think throw it at anybody. Throw it against Trey Sanders. I want to see what the young fella can do. It's a taller receiver by a lot of looking Glenn Ball saying no points for you right now. He's going to get that interception. He's going to move it down the field. He's going to tightrope walk. It's not going to be any points. That is a heck of a boost for our defense. And Daniel Jones is not who he wanted to end the half. He had a surefire field goal. They got nothing. 
Tortiva's coming back out here looking to get something on the board from what happened last time. It wasn't exactly ideal, but a nice throw to Terry McLaurin. The street route is going to be the first passing touchdown in the career of Rashawn Dorsett. If you're McLaurin, you're happy to see somebody throw the ball deep down the field and get you in the end zone. The Giants had the football on offense, couldn't do anything, a couple of penalties, they go three and out, and here we are with the ball right back and ready to go. Thad Lindley can't quite find a gap there, but picks up one. And we're going to keep a lot of pressure on them. We found that every two or three times we run the read option, it's been for a pretty big game. Back at it again, Lindley again trying to find some room up the middle, but the Giants are now starting to figure out how to stop us on offense. It really feels like the big thing they're doing is saying, look, we load up the middle, we stick heavy on that read option play and make them do something they don't want to essentially do. Across the middle, we're going to see. It looks like McLaurin pick up another big first down. Second catch of the day there. First and 10. We play action fake. We got a guy. Deontay Arnold with a big grab down the middle. Puts us down to the 34. Now you're starting to see the defense back up a little bit. They can't crowd the middle as much as they want because we're starting to see that passing game come in in full effect. Lindley tries to stretch to the outside there, but just can't quite get where he wants. Second and 10 here. Just sit in the shotgun. He's got a guy in a halfback screen. Lindley's got all the room in the world. Nice juke move by Lindley. Keeps him moving, and that's what I want to see from the future MVP in my book. This has been a heck of a drive so far. Gotta love what we're seeing. This read option is not looking like the move's over. Gonna switch things up. They're pretty heavy in the middle. It's like a fake. We're going for a check down play here. That goes to Howard. We're gonna pick up it all the way to the nine. Second and four. Reset sits here. He might have a guy. He does. McLaurin for the second time today. For dude that has been underused in his time here in Dublin. Young fella's got two touchdowns from his new quarterback. I think he's happy. We're now sitting with a two-score lead, and the Giants know they desperately need to get some points to the board. Again, not getting that field goal at the end of the first half. It's coming back to bite them because they're looking pretty crazy going for it now on fourth down. Nice little pass here by Jones. Goes to number 80 to the 31-yard line. Trying to get a little bit of pressure off the edge here. We got Walls patrolling the middle. Jones again sitting a shotgun with Barkley to his right. The pass play. He's got a couple of guys he finds late there. I thought that was going to be a pick for a second, but he ends up keeping a hold of it as Slayton picks it to the 15. I mean, that definitely seemed like an opportunity for our corner to make the pick, but unfortunately, he just couldn't get the job done. I want to protect this time for Jones. He goes for the quick slam route, and that one ends up working well as Slayton's now down to the three. Patrick Peterson's definitely showing his age a little bit. He's getting absolutely torched in the middle of the field. First and goal again. Jones makes a small adjustment. Deron Payne and company looking to get in the middle. They see Barkley. They wrap him up and stop him from getting in the end zone, but he gets a yard. Looking to put a whole lot of pressure on them right now. Pinch our line. A couple of guys blitzing again. No one to protect Jones. He's got to make a quick decision here if he's going to get rid of it. He does. Trey Sanders doesn't turn around. And the Giants are back in the end zone. We're only down one score. As we kick off the fourth quarter, yes, we had the lead. Yes, we've outgained them, but there's a lot of time left in this game. Our team needs to put up heck of a drive here we need Lindley and company to get a whole lot of yards and honestly even a field goal is going to be okay here it's just can we get the job done second to five going right back to Lindley Lindley's got all the room in the world no holding penalty inside and we pick up seven earned a minute off the clock so far John Dorsett looking to keep things moving Dorsett's going to try to stretch it out to the edge here the young fella is super fast smartly gets out of bounds and no one's going to touch him he's got 77 yards already today that's what you want to see Young fella being creative again. Look, if we can run some read options and burn the defense like that until they make a decision to switch up and guard that, we're all over it. All right, so it'll play out of the backfield by Howard. Howard's going to go all the way down to the 20 now. This has been a great debut for Dorsett. Yes, that interception was absolutely horrible, but other than that, he's been really, really good today. Only finds his way through the middle, but trips over his own guys and only gets one. Second and long coming up, Dorsett under center. Got a heavy formation, but again, cannot get a block. Barnett doesn't find a guy, and we only get three. This makes it a big down, third and five. Again, all we need is points in this drive. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, just points are what we essentially need. We're set. It was the pressure he had B wide open, couldn't get his feet set, and Shaq Lawson gets his second sack of the day, forcing a field goal. So unlike the Giants, we're gonna go ahead and sit with the field goal. Again, we're gonna try to make this one because we missed our only other attempt. The accuracy should be okay. The wind is gonna blow to the right a little bit. That one is good, and that extends our lead from seven to 10. Giants have a lot of time on the clock, but again, they're down two scores, so they need to score sooner rather than later right now. Our rushing game has been dominating them today. Barkley's had a couple of solid plays, but not enough to make his team ultimately happy. There's a fumble. This is going to be picked up by a big fella. We're going to try to get the tackle. We do get that one, but that is horrible news for the Giants. That is a massive hit there to force that fumble, and it almost ended up being really bad for the Giants, but they still remain possession. Only lost nine yards in that play. Jones, the only guy in the backfield this time. Going out here to the small guys. They're going to end up picking up what looks to be about six yards. And that makes it a really tough third down 
and 13 for the Giants. Can they convert here? They've been pretty good on third down so far, but this is going to be a tough one deep in their own territory with a whole lot of pressure on them. They're going for a deep one, and they're going to find him. Evan Ingram continues to kill us with a deep route. He found a hole in the zone coverage and made us pay. If we were running man, maybe we have a little bit of an option, but again, in man, Evan Ingram has been a problem today as well. Watching the flat routes. Jones panicking a little bit. He's got some pressure coming off the edge. He completely outplays our left outside defensive end and we get nothing. Jones again, the only guy, so we know a pass is coming. They go to Barkley on the flat route. Barkley steps out of bounds though with a 41. Our team is feeling a little too crazy in the sideline. Chill. It's not over yet. Here it is. Third and five. We're going to press cover. Obviously, it's going to be a pass play. We got Walls coming in for the blitz here. Jones with a quick check down again. We can't let him beat us over top, but the underneath is killing us too. And if the Giants play their cards right, they're going to be okay. If they don't use a timeout, they can still score, kick the ball to us, rely on their defense, and be okay here. But we don't want that to happen, obviously. <laughs> Comeback route again remains to kill us. Ingram, Slayton, all the small guys demolishing us right now. The Giants, though, have two minutes and a dream at the moment. They're going to opt to go for one of the best play actions they've run in a while. We have no one covering 85, and they get an easy first down. So we got absolutely duped there. O'Shaughnessy comes in and gets a major play for his team. Get him down a first and goal from the nine. Watching Barkley out of the backfield. They go for a pass. It could have been picked off of our safety paid attention. Man has been solid, but we're going to switch the zone considering how many slant routes they're essentially running against us. And we've got some guys to cover the flats as well here. Jones, a lot of pressure in his face. He's going to fumble that one. That was going to be picked up by Montez Sweat, who had no business diving. If he didn't dive, that's a touchdown for a big fella. So all we got to do now is just get a couple of first downs. We can walk out of here with a nice big W. Going right to Thad Lindley. Thad Lindley looking to find some room here. The nice juke move for Thad Lindley. He's going to keep the pressure on him. Thad Lindley goes for the stop juke. It doesn't work, but that puts him pretty close to 100 yards on the game. That's what you want to see right there. Your best player on the field on offense is putting in some major work. Going right back to Lily here on first and 10. Doesn't really get quite the result, but it's still one, and they use the timeout. Second and nine. Again, they have one timeout left. Our goal is to get a first down, and we can walk out of here pretty easy. That is an unreal tackle by Von Miller. The old veteran now in the Giants. It's a big stop for the Giants. Third down and nine. Kind of dicey here. We're going to go for it on the run. Waste a little bit of clock. We like the spin move. That looked good, but the rest of it only picks up five. That's over 100, but it's fourth and five instead. So we're going to opt to kick a field goal here. See if we can get our kicker an opportunity to, you know, do a little bit better than what he did earlier in the game. It's a long one. This one's going to be up. This one is. That looks to be good to me, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see what ends up happening here. The Giants can't get out of their own way. This will be roughing the kicker on Bradley Roby. We'll accept that penalty. I mean, yeah, we could have declined the penalty, taken the field goal, but we want to get some more points on the board. See if our young fellas can put something out here. Von Miller playing pretty good defense areas and end up holding us on the left side and we go for 20. Excuse me, I meant to say we get to the 20-yard line instead of going for 20 yards. Obviously, we didn't get 20 yards in that play. Back here in the read option, Rashawn Dorsett looking good. We're going to slide and take what's in front of us. Dorsett's got an opportunity for his third touchdown today. We want to go ahead and try to get that one. We have no problem doing that against the Giants, a team that has been... Bane of our existence. They went forward on fourth down earlier. We're going forward on fourth down right here. Here we go. Fourth and three. We're going to see if we can get something going here. It's going to be a dicey one, but it's worth it. There's a flag on the plane. I'm hoping it's on the defense. Let's see what they ultimately say here. <laughs> Roughing the passer. Guess what we're doing? We're accepting it, and we're going to go from the seven-yard line now. So here we go. We got a slant play coming up. Gallup might be the move here. Let's see what we ultimately have. Set feels a lot of pressure. Throws it across. Michael Gallup. Go get yourself one, young fella. Yeah, we're running up the score. Yeah, we're padding some stats. That is the 25th career touchdown reception for Gallup, and he's got plenty more as a member of the Shamrocks. So with that, we're going to walk out here with a much-needed W to start the season. Last season was turmoil, was just turnovers nonstop, and was not a good start to the season. This year, a whole lot different. So to recap the stats today, Daniel Jones goes 22 with 33, 250 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. But Rashawn Dorsett, the player of the game, if I had to say we had one today, 14 of 19, 221 yards, three touchdowns, one interception that was really bad, but the rest of his game, flawless. On the ground, Dan Lindley had 18 for 103 yards, no touchdowns, no fumbles, but look, a solid game all around for him, especially in the passing game. And don't forget our young quarterback, Rashawn Dorsett, 6 and 83 and one touchdown. You gotta love it. In the year, Evan Ingram continued to be a problem for us. Seven for 85 and a touchdown. Barkley at five for 66, no touchdowns. Sterling Shepard also pre-involved in the passing game, as was Darius Slayton. 
Millie had three for 19. McLaurin had three, with two of those being for a touchdown and 93 yards. Jimmy Reese killed us a little bit early, but then didn't do much. OJ Howard had a couple of grabs. Arnold went for two for 44. Michael Gallup got two for a touchdown, or two and one touchdown. And Bronco Barnett had a good grab to start the game, and then we didn't see much of him from there. But still, we we're feeling out our offense, and I'll take this production every single game. For the Shamrocks, our tackle leader was John Meekins. The rookie is proven to be that guy. One tackle for a loss, six total on the day. Trey Sanders had five. Let's see Kendall Fuller have five, with two of those being for a loss. Jamison Biddle ended up getting a sack. What I'm most happy about today, though, is Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Jamison Biddle, and Glenn Walls all had a sack today. That is major news for a team that struggled to get sacks all season long last year. We also see Glenn Walls coming through and getting himself an interception. If you look at here at forced fumbles, we see Deron Payne had one. Glenn Walls had one. This defense, this offense, you gotta love it. After the game, Rashawn Dorsett got a nice upgrade ability that we can go ahead and throw in. We got strong arm, improviser, scrambler, and field general. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade strong arm. I wanna make sure he can throw the ball deep in the field. Keep that deep and medium accuracy looking pretty good. So he gets plus one, throw accuracy deep, and plus two, throw accuracy mid. He's on 82 overall. Despite not getting in the end zone with that, Lindley obviously deserved an upgrade as well. So he now can get an upgrade for his elusive back. We will eventually upgrade power back, but I want to get his elusive back up a little bit more. So plus two to awareness, plus one to break tackle, carrying and spin move. All great news for him. Guy that also got an upgrade, which is a little surprising because only had one catch, but Mr. Bronco Barnett. Again, we will find ways to use this guy, especially in the red zone. But look at how many things. Good God. We got plus one to acceleration, awareness, deep route, juke move, medium route, release, run block, run block finesse, spectacular catch and stiff arm, and plus two to pass block. That's probably the most I've ever seen somebody get upgraded. Holy crap. Look, I gotta be honest, that win felt incredibly good. The offense played well. We only really had one major mistake. The defense played extremely well today. And look, the offensive line was probably the unsung hero of the game. They blocked incredibly well. Rashawn Dorsett held on to it probably a little too long in some situations, but the running lanes that were open up for both him and Thad Lindley today make me incredibly happy. If we can work a little bit more on Rashawn Dorsett's pocket presence and get him acclimated to being in the NFL, I think that kid is going to be special. He's able to run like the wind. He made some really good throws today. We'll test his deep accuracy as the season goes on, but for right now, we found a good system for him, and you got to be happy with that.